Hey there! Every month, Annie has a call with our Path 365 members and answers their questions. She tackles a wide range of topics from what to do with big emotions, what kinds of tips and advice she has for addressing difficult situations, how to deal with cravings, and so much more. Listen in as she does some real life coaching for our Path members. I've been thinking about mental health and myself. I take medications that are mood stabilizers. So are there any recommendations for someone about to do the pause who has also been on medications? What the pause is at its core is just to stop trying and think of the pause as like it's BAU with a huge dose of curiosity, right? Business as usual, typical, huge dose of curiosity. So don't, don't let this additional sort of confusion about what's going on with your medication sort of influence this because that like it, it almost pollutes the experiment. Work on the dose with your doctor, you know, go in and out of that, like that can live and exist. And, and then the pause can live over here because all the pause is saying, it's not like anything you're doing. It's just something you're not doing because like, you're almost thinking like the pause is like, oh, it's a thing to do. But I'm like, no, actually it's a thing not to do. Just be normal. Just, just don't, don't make any changes quite yet. And so that's interesting, right? Like it's, it's actually a non thing to do. It's a thing not to do. I'm saying don't change anything. So I would, maybe if you're a doer and you really want to just double down on like what the only thing I'm asking you to do is, is just like maybe make a curiosity journal and just keep it or like maybe make it like a little thing or, you know, a little tiny notebook like this that you can carry around with yourself or put it on your phone and just like observations. So like, look at yourself, like you're in a lab and it's just like, you know, observations. I actually have, um, I like it. It's, it's pretty intense. Uh, it's called bearable B E A R A B L E. And it's a, a mood tracking app. That is, uh, I think it's like 30 bucks a year or something. I don't know. I, 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 it's just something I found on the app store that I use, but like, and it has places for notes. So if you wanted to kind of do that and That's then good. you can, and you can put in little, um, what you did that day. So you could put in your dose, you could put in your, uh, you could put in, if you exercised, you could put in, if you journaled, and then it will kind of give you some data that might be useful. You could even share it with your therapist. But if you feel like you need to do, just track, just get curious. Other than that, don't worry about any other doing. Here's the thing. The brain is like, it's like a dog on a bone. Like it just wants something to sink its teeth into. It's just like this problem. And it just like wants to go crazy on it and worry on it and like, just like get all over it and just put all its energy into like this problem. I like this saying, well, what was your problem three problems ago? Because whatever the thing is, that's like so big and heavy today. Like, I don't know, like for me, it was the, you know, little conversations I had with my son last night, but what was it three ago? I don't actually remember what the thing my brain was obsessing about three problems ago. And so isn't that interesting, right? So just, just acknowledging like, oh, so all we're doing is observing right now. We're just like observing. And if you want to do some tracking, like in that bearable app, like I use that for my own, just mental health and moods. And, and I didn't get off any of my antidepressants until a year after I stopped drinking. And then I really felt like, you know what? I kind of feel like I'd like I kind of felt like a little, it's funny when you really need antidepressants, I don't think in my experience, I don't feel a flattening of my mood. I just feel better. And then when I stopped really needing them, I started to notice that my moods were flatter than I would have liked. And that for me, at least was like a trigger and a cue, like, huh, I think I want to change this. I want to work with my doctor to see about changing this for myself. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. If you're ready to see how This Naked Mind can help you on your personal health and wellness journey and want to learn more, go to thisnakedmindpodcast.com to learn what your next best step is. Again, that's thisnakedmindpodcast.com. We have all of our free resources, programs, social links, and more available for you there. Plus, if you have your own naked life story to share, you can submit it there as well. Until next week, stay curious. Stay curious.